Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as we present to you the 2019 candidates for graduation from the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics at California State University, Long Beach. Leading the procession as our 2019 Grand Marshal is Dr. Margaret Merrifield, former professor from the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry and Associate Vice Chancellor of Academic Resources for the California State University System.
graduates in the processional line are distinguished guests and leaders of our college and university. Scott Appel, Vice President for Administration and Finance. Jody Cormack, Vice Provost for Academic Programs and Dean of Graduate Studies. Min Yao, Vice President for Information Technology. Carrie Johnson, Associate Vice President for Undergraduate Studies. Jeet Joshi, Associate Vice President for International Education and Global Engagement, and Dean of the College of Professional and International Education. Simon Kim, Associate Vice President of Research and Sponsored Programs. Shauna Dark, Associate Vice President for Academic Technology. Stephen Raskovich, University Counsel. Mark Wiley, Chief of Staff. Norbert Schurer, Chair of the CSULB Academic Center. Caleb Lee, President of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics Student Council. Genesis Jara, President of Associated Students Incorporated. Desi Underwood, Chair of the Department of Biological Sciences. Chris Brazier, Chair of the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Christine Whitcraft, Program Director for Environmental Science and Policy. Richard Bell, Chairman of the Department of Geological Sciences. Tangan Gao, Chair of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Andreas Bill, Chair of the Department of Physics and Astronomy. Lisa Martin Hansen, Chair of the Department of Science Education. Babette Benken, Director of Natural Sciences and Mathematics Graduate Studies. John Brevik, Chair of the College Faculty Council. Barbara Taylor, Associate Dean for Research. Christoph Slowinski, Associate Dean for Academic Programs Evaluation and Advising. Jordan No, 2019 Outstanding Graduate of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Mike Schad, 2019 Distinguished Alumnus and Emeritus Director of the Cabrillo Marine Museum. Curtis Bennett, Richard D. Green, Dean of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Brian Jersky, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Jane Close Connolly, President of California State University, Long Beach. Last year, the university adopted a new alma mater with words and music by two students from, from our Bob Cole Conservatory of Music, joining Professor Rob Freer and the CSULB Brass Ensemble in performing it now is Amanda Mello. Dreamers all are welcome here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Curtis Bennett, the Richard D. Green Dean of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Good afternoon. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students in the College of the Natural Sciences and Mathematics, I welcome you to the 70th commencement exercises at California State University, Long Beach. Earning a degree in the sciences or mathematics requires hard work and dedication. Today, we celebrate your perseverance, your ability to overcome the challenges you've faced, and your ultimate achievement and success. Congratulations. <laughs> Celebrating with you here today are those who helped you face those challenges, your fellow students, your family, your friends, and the faculty. Students, I ask you to take a moment to think of someone who has helped you get where you are today and give them your applause. Earlier, the departments recognized some of you with your special achievements during their ceremonies. We add our congratulations now. Will the recipients of the following awards please stand? Audience, please hold your applause. The Graduate's Dean's List of University Scholars and Artists. The winner of the Outstanding Thesis Award. Recipients of the Richard D. Green Award for Departmental Outstanding Graduates. Students graduating with Departmental Honors and Departmental Graduate Student Honors. Students who expanded your experience by participating in leadership positions in the student government and student clubs. Students who participated in study abroad, service learning, or worked on research with faculty members in the laboratory and in the field. Let's thank, let's congratulate them. Graduates, your time here has trained you to ask questions and to find answers, skills central to lifelong learning. You leave us well prepared to face future challenges. We charge you to use this education to be effective citizens, scientists, and mathematicians, for you will play an important role in building a positive future for all. We look to you, the graduating class of 2019, to build us a brighter future, to make a better world for all, and to pay forward the positive experiences you've had at the beach. This year, the college has named as its Grand Marshal, Dr. Margaret Merrifield. Dr. Merrifield is the Assistant Vice Chancellor of Academic Human Resources for the California State University System. In this capacity, she serves as the expert within the Chancellor's Office on Faculty Affairs, where she has diverse responsibilities. Prior to that, however, she was a professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry here at CSULB. And students commented on her desire to see them graduate and fulfill their dreams and said that she was truly one of a kind. With Dr. Merrifield's presence here today, we not only honor all that she has done for CSULB, but we also honor her husband, Dr. Kent Merrifield, who passed away last fall. Between them, Kent, and Margie guided and mentored students across the college for over 50 years. Dr. Merrifield, I would be remiss if I did not say how much we miss Kent. He was a champion of our students and of mathematics. He taught our students to be keen problem solvers and astute mathematicians. More importantly, however, he showed our students how to be a kind and caring person. We are delighted to have you here with us today, and we express our gratitude to you and your husband for your role in who we are as a college today. We thank you for our, your service. I am now honored to introduce our president, Jane Close Connolly. Hello, class of 2019. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments. I'm privileged to say some words to you today as you begin new adventures, whether it's to a new job, 
graduate school, travel, or who knows, the possibilities are endless. My simple message to you today, though, is be bold. You've earned that right. You've managed the rigors of an education at the beach, and you've come to this ceremony to mark the occasion for yourselves and with your families and your friends. I'm sure there were a few times, at least, in the past few years that you were frightened, maybe even terrified about something, perhaps academic or work-related, or perhaps personal. But yet, you are here celebrating a grand accomplishment. For some of you sitting here today, you face financial difficulties, maybe even food and housing insecurities, but you found your way through those barriers and you made it to this field. You persevered. Choosing to be bold does not suggest you are never afraid or you face no difficulties. Rather, to be bold is to be persistent. Get back up when you get knocked down. Believe you have the grit to persevere in the face of any challenge and overcome that challenge, perhaps not perfectly, but in a way that you'll learn something. When you see or create an opportunity for growth, step up and step through that door. It may lead to the next big thing in your life, or it might be a dead end, but at least you will have learned something valuable. It's trite but true to say that at a certain age, we look back and regret those paths not taken much more than the bumps in the road or the mistakes we've made. Eventually, those many mistakes become good stories to tell ourselves and to others about lessons learned. Yet let me emphasize that a life not lived is a waste of your gifts, and all of you have proven that you have significant gifts. So take a chance, speak up, explore, build, and then follow your passions. Offer help to others along the way. Seek the company of people who lift you up, but always be ready to stand alone for what you believe in. Most importantly, believe that you are prepared to do wonderful things for our world if you leap into opportunities with or without an invitation. Congratulations, graduates, and go Beach. I now present Jordan No, the outstanding graduate of the college. Jordan is a biochemistry major and is receiving this honor because his accomplishments are truly outstanding. As a member of Dr. Deepali Bhandari's research group and a Mark Scholar, he has performed research resulting in co-authorship on publications related to better treatments of cancer. Jordan's award-winning research has been presented at scientific meetings throughout the country and, most recently, he has received one of two outstanding undergraduate research student awards from the university. Jordan will begin his PhD program in molecular and cell biology at the University of California, Berkeley, this fall. Jordan, no. Thank you, Dean Bennett. Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan No, and I would like to give glory to God. I was asked... I was asked to keep this speech short, so I'm going to try my best to finish this within the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Just kidding. Today, I want to tell you about how vision and mentorship can change our world. I'll begin with a fun fact. I have really bad eyesight. Like, really, really bad eyesight. My prescription is about 20 over 800, which means that I see at 20 feet what a normal person sees at a distance of 800 feet. Essentially, my eyesight is about 40 times worse than the normal person. One time, I walked straight into a sliding glass door because I didn't see it. It hurt. I tell you this because my eyesight, or lack thereof, has taught me to never take my vision for granted. My vision changes how I see the world, and how I see the world dictates the way I live my life. Because of this, I value clear vision, both for my eyes and for the future. Now. I didn't always understand what it meant to have a clear vision for the future. I am a first-generation college student who grew up in poverty and was raised by a single parent. My family has been on welfare and food stamps, and we have been evicted from our home with nowhere to go except to extended family. Statistically, I shouldn't even be standing up here today. The only reason why I am here today is because my mentors have had a grand vision for my life and invested in its fruition. They taught me that my passion to serve others does not have to be separate from my vocation. And in a similar way, you are all here because of the mentors who have invested deeply 
in your lives. Now I could go on and on about the various mentors I have had in my life, but for time's sake, I will only tell you about three main things they have taught me. Vision, invitation, and action, or what I like to call VIA in short. Every mentor I have had has proposed a vision for my future that I was too afraid to dream for myself and invited me to take action to make this vision a reality. My grand vision for us, class of 2019, is that we change the world, not by our own strength, but by investing deeply into the mentorship of those who come after us. Each of us has our own unique story that qualifies us to invest in the development of the next generation of world changers. The question is not whether we are able, but whether we are willing. Are you willing? Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished alumnus and commencement speaker, Mike Schad. Mike graduated from CSULB twice. First in 1978 with a BS in marine biology, and then in 1982, an MS in biology. Mike has been a great advocate for science, particularly marine biology, as director of the Cabrillo Marine Museum in San Pedro. At Cabrillo, Mike has kept the CSULB connection strong by supporting internships for our majors over the years. Mike has been named the college's distinguished alumnus this year, mostly due to his infectious enthusiasm for science, his boundless passion for teaching, and his enduring commitment to the students who will become tomorrow's champions for marine science. He is here today to share some of his story. Mike Schad. Okay, let's see if this, uh, it does, very good. I've now switched over to a headset, everyone, um, which is always good for me because walking around is uh, the best part. Thank you, Dean Bennett, for the introduction. Congratulations to all you graduates. You've worked really hard to be where you are today, and you're about to get your degrees, and I remember what a special time that was. I also congratulate the families and friends that helped support you during your journey in academia. Today, you also join a very large family, the CSULB alumni family, that is now more than 330,000 strong. For the next few minutes, I'm gonna to talk to you about personal mission statements, the importance of communicating science to the public and collaboration in the process of science. I'm a big mission statement guy. You know what a mission is. That statement that serves as a guide for those businesses and institutions. A mission statement also helps people not in the organization know the values that that organization holds dear. If an opportunity comes along that doesn't fit the mission, it should be rejected. Why spend resources on something that doesn't fit the mission? For this college, I wonder if you, how, many, how many of you know the mission? It's a center of scientific learning in Long Beach offering excellent educational opportunities. Our student-centered instructional and research environment fosters equity, diversity, and access. Mentors students for lifelong success by elevating character, skills, and mindset. Creates scientific knowledge through research and promotes science and mathematics in our community. For the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium, a place I know well. Our mission is to be a trusted resource that inspires exploration, respect, and conservation of Southern California marine life. I recommend that each of you have your own personal mission statement. It serves as a guide as you make decisions, and it lets others know your values. Here's the great American poet Maya Angelou's personal mission statement. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. And to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. I remember having my own mission statement that I came up with as a kid that I continue to have to this day. I want to get paid to go to the beach. Even though I like Miss Angelo's mission statement much better than mine, Mine worked out pretty good for me, having worked here at the beach for nine years, so many years ago, 
in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, and for 28 years at the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium at, you, you guessed it, Cabrillo Beach. So develop your own mission statement, because without an idea of who you are and where you want to be in life, wherever you end up is ultimately where you wanted to go. I have a mission for this time we're spending together. I want you to consider the importance of communication and collaboration in science and mathematics. We are taught that there is a method to science. You question something. You research what is already known about that question. You make a hypothesis from your research. You design an experiment to test your hypothesis. During the experiment, you observe and you collect data. You analyze the results of that collected data and you make conclusions. A scientist is also encouraged to communicate the conclusions of their research. The final step of the scientific method is often done by making presentations to other scientists at meetings and or publishing in peer-reviewed journals. I'm here to encourage you to remember that people not in your discipline of science, especially the general public, need to learn about your research. Scientists have not always done a good job of doing that. Maybe it's become, because young scientists don't practice communicating to the public. Maybe it's because it could be time consuming to explain complex ideas to people with little or no interest in science. Or maybe it's just that the very nature of science is that the new conclusions will always be subject to new research to accept or reject the original hypothesis. Whatever the reason, not communicating research is a disservice to the public at large. The new knowledge that science is uncovering needs to be available to everyone. It needs to be available to inform public opinion and public policy. In your classes, you have probably already found that science is best done when it's collaborative. When it comes down to it, very little science gets done without collaboration. Whether working for a company or in a lab, you will be working with others. So get good at it. I know your professors have given you plenty of team projects and classes. They know the more experience you get collaborating with others, the better you get at it, and the more effective the science. Now, I'd like to share an example as I, as I conclude with how communication and collaboration served me in my own career. First, a little background. In the early 1990s, most scientists and fishermen noticed that the numbers of fish and the sizes of individual fish in California coastal waters declined in the previous 40 years. Essentially, there weren't enough baby fish being produced to replace the fish being taken out of the ocean. The management practices in place during those times were not helping to achieve sustainability of our ocean fish resources. In 1999, the Marine Life Protection Act was enacted in California, calling for a network of marine protected areas called MPAs to be designated in state waters. But you know what? Telling someone they couldn't fish in certain areas was not popular, to say the least, especially with fishermen. It was important to the success of these new MPAs that everyone understand how making a perfectly good fishing area off limits to fishing was necessary so people could continue to catch fish in the future. In other words, achieve a sustainable resource. Aquariums and public marine science education centers in Southern California joined together in the Southern California Aquarium Collaborative with the mission of developing communication tools that would help people learn about the purpose and advantages of MPAs. We come up with many deliverables to accomplish our mission, including public lectures by fishery scientists and fishermen, giveaways with MPA messages for people to take home, and a curriculum for teachers to use in their classrooms. The following demonstration is one of the deliverables from that collaboration and was intended to be used with large audiences just like this one. 
So now, I'm going to call up a couple of helpers that are going to help me. And the first one is Dr. Desi Underwood, the, the Department Chair of Biology. Dr. Underwood. So to illustrate this, I have a bag of tricks here. Actually, they're not tricks at all. And uh, I'm going to have... <laughs> The fish are hard to catch. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Here, this one. Dr. Underwood, if you could hold that up. Everyone, this is how big a seven-year-old vermilion rockfish is. And this is at seven, the first time this fish gets a chance to reproduce. I'm looking for guesses. How many of you can tell me a guess. How many babies can a vermilion rockfish this size have in its very first year of reproduction? Just yell it out. 300. 50. I think I heard 50. 3,000. 100. Okay, to, and in the order of time. If you could turn it around, Dr. Underwood, and say, oh, well, actually, you're not looking. 150,000 babies. One year, the very first year of its reproduction. So, uh, Dr. Underwood, if you could take that, this out of this pocket and hold it up. I know it's hard for you to see in the back. Hopefully the uh, cameras are helping. This is a string of fish beads. Each one of the beads represents 10,000 babies. So, there's 15 beads, 150,000 babies. And now, if I could ask Dr. Connolly to please come up and give me a hand. Thank you, Dr. Connolly. And Dr. Connolly, if you could hold on to this fish. What kind of fish is this, everyone? A vermilion rockfish. Who said a good tasting fish? You'd be right, by the way. This is how big a vermilion rockfish gets when it's 13 years old. How many babies can a vermilion rockfish at 13 years old have in one year? I would guess more than 150,000. It's bigger. 300,000. A million. That's a future stockbroker. So I think, Dr. Connolly, you can see on the back, 700,000 babies in one year. And Dr. Connolly, if you would please pull on this and hold it up proudly. Whoop. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's okay. Not your fault. It's uh, sharks. Who said sharks? The string is bigger. <laughs> I'll let you hang on to that. Oh, no, that, actually, the fish, please. Okay, got it. Okay, finally, if I could have Dean Bennett up here to give me a hand. Dean Bennett. What kind of fish is this? A vermilion rockfish, that's right. This is how big they are when they're 19 years old. If we give them a place to get as big as they can get. Before I ask you how many babies it can have, I'm going to teach you a scientific term, everyone. Are you ready? Scientists call this, could be Latin, could be Greek. Scientists call this a big old fat fish. It's called a boff. How many babies can a boff have in one year? Two million. Actually, in the interest of time, very close. 1.7 million. One million seven. Oh, good. <laughs> now, if you could hold that up and imagine a string just that big for Dr. Connolly. If we allow these fish in a special place, to get as big as they can get. And not only these fish, but other invertebrates that we target. We're going to allow them to reach their full reproductive potential, allowing baby fish not only to populate those marine protected areas, but go off to other areas as well. It's going to help us achieve a sustainable resource. So if you could put it right back in there and right back in there, don't worry about putting it together. And right, right there, thank you very much. So, graduates, if you leave this ceremony remembering three things, the importance of a personal mission statement, 
communicating science to the public and collaboration in science, my mission for this time we put together will be accomplished. Thank you and go Beach. Well, thank you, Mike. I don't think I will uh, ever forget that introduction to vermilion rockfish uh, reproduction and uh, its impact on sustainability. Uh, it's actually one of the reasons that I've achieved the uh, mission statement you set for yourself that I actually do get paid to come to the beach. <laughs> and now we reach the part of the program for which many of you have been waiting. I will now present the candidates for the master's degrees who were hooded earlier in their department celebrations by their advisors and assisted by their department chairs. Under the direction of the faculty marshals, will the first row of candidates for the master's degree from the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics please stand and come forward. Candidates will proceed to each side of the stage, cross the platform, and return to their seats up the center aisle. Readers will read the names. From the Department of Biological Sciences, Sarah Zito. Joshua Daniel Arias. Darian Satterfield and Dixie. Robert Comito. Colleen Monahan. Stanley Wynn. Imara Mipe. Philippe Lee. Kevin Vargas. Marie Donato. From the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Parker Bremer. Araceli Cortes. Cheta Vasudeva. Ryan Stewart. Mai Vo Luong. Jonathan Jordan. Mike Lay. Kevin Ho. Natalie Kong Huyen. From the Department of Mathematics and Statistics, Helen Wu. Emily Conway. Keith Richard Ball. Jesus Valles. 
Dylan Lindsay. Carlos Figueroa Arroyo. Brad Tocum. Adrian Castillo. Sabline. Carlos Villacres. Arsana Cane. Brian Vasquez. Naomi Carrillo. Felix Alcantara. Jessica Grisella Lieblick. Ashley Spradley. Robert Kern. Kristen Holmet Connell. Max Estep. Josefina Felix. Nira Saxina. Kimberly Winberg. Joseph Lopez. Bobak Escandari. Koi Vo. Anatole Kobusev. From the Department of Physics and Astronomy, Megan Louise Berry. Brian Irving. Angel Benjamin Diaz. Jeanne Simone Alubi. Benjamin Deutsch. Renyu Wang. Ann Nguyen. Josue Rodriguez. Sarah Limon. Elliot Stiglich. Anastasia Wu. Felix Jesus Arroyo. From the Department of Science Education. Robert Garcia. Sarah Bowie. Sarah Davison. Catalina Maria Herrera. Vicente Perez Jr. Marianne May. Will all the candidates for the master's degree please stand and remain standing? <laughs> President Connolly, these candidates have satisfactorily completed all of the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty to receive their degrees. You have been recommended to me by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, and by the Dean, and by your distinguished faculty. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon each of you who has fulfilled all requirements the appropriate master's degree with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, you may be seated.
And now, the bachelor's candidates. From the Department of Biological Sciences, Shai Tanner, Melanie Abigail Rader, Nicole Hudson, Evelyn Rosales, Tu Fam, Samantha Quiros Sau. Nicholas Din. Nestle Camacho. Crystal Nguyen. Kendra Ellis. Woo! Eunice May A. Yamamoto. Amara Kathleen Pove. Amara. Amara. Tishana A. Ducklan. Arnell Arnold Santos Cadsenia. Vivan Bao Nguyen. Hannah Lee. Yeah, Hannah. Shilpa Dada. Janet Fragoso. Caroline Mercedes Maravilla. Amanda Meyer. Bianca De La Torre. Zyra Gomez. Nicole Ann Buncherian. Joseph Porges. Esmeralda Flores. Hannah Thompson. Bailey Arata. Ariel Mary Gilligan. Daniel Ragoza. Jacqueline Mary Vialba. Crystal Ronquillo. Tyler Stelly. Ivan Saladay. Tony Bengos. Emmanuel Cuevas. Diego Aceituno. Joshua Chencota. Carly Dobbins. Alexander Lamb. Hannah Perkins. Alexander Chavez. Lauren Crawley. Weston Yanagihara. Michelle Gonzalez. Sergio Matthew Torres. Katie Erickson. Yen Yu Bui. Madeline Kelly Gomer. Hang Fong. Ashley Burke. Jennifer Tram Nguyen. Hannah Adams. New Lavish. Sarah Rivenbark. Summer Bermani. Catherine Lacknit. Khaled Jarudi. Bailey McCann. Marco Martinez. Allison Summers. Allie. Ford Campbell. Jamie Isumi. Jonathan Christopher Moore Tupas. Robert Hyla Jr. Gregory Yatsov. Samantha Johnson. Anna Mae Apego. 
Jeremy Young. Sharon Matthew. Jennifer Sierra. Michelle Chitani. Mandy Vong. Stephanie Martinez Maravilla. Cindy Doe. Will Hinckley. Joanne Ramirez. Scott Kim. Gerald Jackson. May Ann Apego. Ingrid Gago. Holly Peterson. Yalitzi Guerrero. Chloe Rosati. Melissa Quintero. Isamar Ramos. Allison Miller. Anthony Ritchie. Trevor Tifa Tiller. Rigoberto Mercado Jr. Anthony Amparan. Redina David. Alex Shikluna. Brian Eugene Lopez. Amber Davis. Gil Ong. Katie Castro. Jared Sanchez. Irma Estrada. Eric Peña. Victoria Esperquerta. Cheyenne Fakhraid. Chelsea McFadden. Nicola Eldick. Catherine Chin. Justin Cho. Amy Song. Edwin Reyes. Alex Saldana. Daniel Coe. Preston Olson. Ryan McNamara. Sarai Lomeli. Justin Tran. Ilse Arcega. Paul Young the Fourth. Christine Wee. Cindy Pham. John Pham. Yes, Caleb Lee. Ismail Acedo. Ella Duong. Elisa Soriano. Vivian Huynh. Deborah Flores. Tina Not Fong Hong. Victoria Hoken. Vincent Nguyen. Celine Zhao. Vivian Ha. Julia Hewitt. Dominique Gomez. Ruben Mandipat. Sadie Wood. Young Kai Ong. Jesus Flores. Hien Nguyen. Quinn Tufono. Cameron Konzelman. Samuel Corder Lee. Brianna Valencia. Alexander Aldenese. Crystal Ann Klein. Michael Bustos. Myra Miranda. 
IV Neff. Sky Idzinski. Hannah Gasparic. Carmen Tuxen. Miguel Inosa. Brienne Cortez. Margie Vera. Angelina Nguyen. Samuel Fetter. Kaylee Nicosia. Marina Caldas. Sarah Bradley. Nicola Carpenter. Jade Eve Roman. Morgan Thompson. Selenge Dava. Sandeep Kaur Dosanj. Fung Tran. Vanessa Valdez. Twinkle Vitlani. Frida Monterola. Farah Asme. Alexis Sorensen. Farah Dar. Susan Santiago. Ilkner Bilzel. Lisa Cardosa. Marissa Cristiano. Karen Carias Herarte. Andrew Pham. Dalia Neri. Max Rasavong. Kirolos Gamal Tadros. Krista Keen. Kaya Quarles. Negin Namavar. Devin Abari. Kevin Martinez. Eileen Zaldana. John Edward Poli. Tori Nahigan. Veronica Irina Williams. Kyle Allhart. Rudolph Chong. Thomas Freeman. Jennifer Higashi. Zach Minot. Anthony Gomez. Dylan Tavalazzi. Matthew Cruz. Austin Stewart. Darren Kong. Lucas Ritter. Sarah Victoria Quadra. Liliana Medina. Lemon Ball. Sochiquetzal Franco. Brian Nguyen. Adrian Tran. Jorge Salvador Alfaro. Rebecca Kim. Angel Sharice Barnett. Mikael Kuniko. Kylie Wong Hazahara. Lani Gliani Mendoza. Catherine Vu. Brian Seth. Jasleen Chahal. Alan Bui. Stephanie Miller. Mary Francine Cole. Stephanie Morales. Andy Bui. Megan Owano. Jonah Grace Manuel Lucero. Jennifer Pham. Kim On Deng. Jasmine Phelps. 
Bianca Isabel Pingle. Lily Lau. Jennifer Juana. Anna Mai. Sylvia Tong. Chris Nguyen. Chantria Valerie Lott. Samuel Vo. Mary Tess Ann Inieto. Evan Maxque. Shelby Lim. Talon Safari. Lily Lee. Sergio Mendoza. Kwa Dang Vong. Jesus Corona. Rina Mayong Kim. Christina Isabella Cinco. Antonio Torres III. Vanessa Gonzalez. Brooks Stotler. Ivana Pauline Di Guardiano. Garrett Nelson. Luis Flores. Dominic Colaccio. Catherine Henson. Cole Joy. Kathy Nguyen. Angela Tran. Julie Nguyen. Now from the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Edward Gutierrez. Grant Bostwick. <laughs> Sashin Nupain. Billy Nguyen. Darian Christopher Abadia Ramos. Tai Hong. Tyler Kiedis. Noel Chow. Arnold Gonzalez. Vin Tran. Lauren Lane. Michael Chin. Diana Hernandez. Daniel Liu. Shinta Tanamas. Ernesto Lozano. Amra Brooks. Brandy Escobar. Haley Sholnick. Eric Galicia. Anthony Acuna. Jocelyn Dominguez. Samuel Kim. Evelyn Martinez. Sylvia Wetterburn. Jasmine Nguyen. Gershon Singh. Victor Sanchez. Samuel De La Cruz. Sierra Riley. Liam Twight. Michaela Solorzano. Destiny Farihi. Hui Ryan Tran. Nicole Gonzalez. Andrew Rim. Elisa Sanchez. Hui Nguyen. Emily Sorbum. Jason Lee. Gordon Huynh. Andres Cuellar. Megan Lee. Ewan Ewan Lee. Christian Liu. 
Hong Van Yuen. Noel Alexa Vilicin Novales. Tin Kim Huyen. Jordan No. Lawrence Tai. Joel Monroy. Tong Win. Denise Ruchanarong. Tui Vien Tran. Stephanie Leal. Melissa Saluta. Bavli Abraham. Dao Min Gigan again. Marisol Almodovar. Tina Nguyen. Chelsea Saral Del Rio. Raymond Luria. Eddie Esquivel. Veronique Ferraris. Dalia Tejas. From the Department of Environmental Science and Policy, Michelle Trung. Landon Watts. Kelly Nguyen. Brian Ronnie. Laura Hien Nguyen. Sarai Bustos. Amanda Benes. Matthew Olivaria. From the Department of Geological Sciences, Barry Frizzly. Eliezer Martinez. Jake Day. Michael Anthony Davis. Amanda Seckington. From the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Joseph Damien Landeros Hurtado. Joey Gadboys. Dennis Lay. Mariana Bura. Angeline Bencomo. Kenton Hostetler. Shannon Dow. Matthew Ortega. Thomas Benitez. Manuel Quiroz. Lock Dam. Kathleen Cow. Eduardo Valladares. Andres Gerardo Cortez. Crystal Gonzalez. Eduardo Catalan Olivares. Marcos Delgado. Fabian Perez. Timothy Camby. Joanna Carvajal Andrade. Shahud Mohammed. Karen Carrera Celis. Yasmin Musa. Anna Silvia Gonzalez. Daniela Arsate. Emmanuel Motino. Brooke Engelking. Madison Kollenberger. Nathan Rimaldi. Eduardo Rivera. Tia Wheelock. 
Erica Natalie Cervantes. Geraldine Galag Pollard. Denise Rios. Diana Carrizoso. Bonnie Tran. Weston Drosky. Christy Lee. Teddy Ruttenberg. Kyle Flores. Michael Medina. Yurene Loera. Rafael Hernandez. Jesus Adrian Gomez. Alberto Bugarin. Jennifer Payan Garcia. Samuel Villalobos. Gabriel Rodriguez. Naomi Havlar. Jennifer Del Carmen Morales. Andrea Madrigal. Jorge Dosaguayo. Adriana Chavez Hontiveros. Zachary D. Ocampo. Patrick Feeney. Kevin Nguyen. Diego Maldonado. Elizabeth Him. Ken Park. Taylor Berkoff. Lama Shalabi. Angad Singh. Beza Gundodu. Jerry Zepeda. Earl Zed. Tan Lam. Kristen Abbey, Medalia Sendina. Hong Nguyen. Kathy Lee Vo. From the Department of Physics and Astronomy, Mark David Rothery Weber. Gabriel Rocha. Lisbeth Galvez. Kyle Mosier. Isaac Arriaga. Naomi Murufo. Andrea Nelson. Francisco Ramirez. Spencer Halls. John Baptiste Four. Peter Joseph Kitoris Santiago. Denzel Philip Beleza. Callum Sheldon. Luke Bell. Adrian Gomez. Su Ye An. Javier Olmos. Ta Thomas Charles Bennett. Fernando Garcia. Carlos de Jesus Lima. President Connolly, these candidates for the bachelor's degrees have completed all the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics to receive their degrees. Candidates, you've been recommended to me by the provost and senior vice president for academic affairs, by your dean and by your distinguished faculty. 
Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon each of you who have fulfilled all requirements the appropriate bachelor's degree for your field of study. Baccalaureate graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. This signifies the completion of your undergraduate studies. Congratulations. Let me add my congratulations to all the graduates today. This is indeed a milestone in your life. All of us in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics extend our best wishes to you in your future endeavors and careers. I thank all of you for your attendance at this, our 70th commencement. Before concluding the ceremony, I have a couple of announcements. First, all graduates and their guests are invited to attend the college commencement reception on the Bob Maxson Plaza. That's by the fountains at Brotman Hall immediately following the recessional. Next, I ask the audience to please remain seated until the recessional has been completed. Let the recessional begin. Join us again soon for